Now then my friends, I made a video a few episodes ago about my Porsche Taycan here where I was on the M1 motorway uh, and a piece of wood fell off the back of a lorry, went under my car, went with an almighty thud I have to say, uh, where I, I did swear but I won't tell you what I actually said. Um, a lot of people said did I get it on uh, webcam or on uh, dash cam, I didn't, I don't have a dash cam, I have a GoPro uh, or an Insta360 Go3 now uh, which is pointing on me, uh, aeroplane coming into land there, um, which is like the aeroplane land, which is pointing on me uh, so I didn't actually get the lorry and I was a bit flustered so I didn't get the number plate. However, after that incident, the uh, car was seemed to be overheating and it didn't charge properly. In fact, it stopped charging and then it said it will not continue charging until the battery returns to a, a normal uh, temperature or something along them lines anyway. That happened twice. Since then, it hasn't happened and it's been fine touch wood uh, however I'm going to take it to Porsche just to get on the ramps and have a quick look at it and also plug it in and uh, get into the diagnostics they do a full check as well anyway and go through all uh, underneath the suspension and tires etc and do everything I'm pretty sure they'll, find, they'll probably say I need new tires or something as well at the same time to try and get me to buy tires off of them but that's another story that's controversial so we're going to head over there today hopefully uh, I won't need a new battery otherwise that's going to cost me thousands I think we worked it out at something like 30,000 Great British Pounds, I can't remember exactly. Uh, I did put up a, a video, if you've not seen that one, I'll put a link to it. However, there was a gentleman uh, overseas who'd been quoted uh, for a battery for his car because he'd got a tiny little um, hole in the bottom and if you, if that happens and it goes into the battery, water can get into it and basically, uh, I'm told anyway, that your car can set on fire. I don't want that, so I'm just going to take it along and get him to check it out. As I say, since then, touch wood, only a couple of times I've had that, it's been alright uh, and it's charged fine and the weather's cooled down a little bit as well. So anyway, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, click the little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Now, without further ado, my friends, let's go. You know, I've got to say, I've learned one thing owning an electric car, and that's they're really passionate. Evangelists are really, really passionate about their electric cars. And then you've got your petrol heads who hate the electric cars. There's very few people who actually own an electric car, like myself, who actually can see the real reason behind it, that we're just being pushed into something that we don't want to do and it's all about control and I've said it before and I'll say it again in my opinion it is all about control and control of movement because 90% of the population probably can't even afford one of these electric cars and especially if something happens to them like their battery gets damaged and you've got to replace it because Will the insurance cover it? I rang my insurance company and they said, we'll have to look into it for you uh, and uh, we'll get back to you. Now, there's no point in them getting back to me yet until I've checked out whether there is any damage on the battery. As I say, um, let me get out of this junction. Um, as I say, I've had two warnings on the dashboard when I've been trying to charge it and uh, it said that it was overheating. It was a little worrying, but then since then, it's been absolutely fine. But they're just gonna get it on the ramp. Porsche have been really good, to be fair. Um, they just says, well, we'll get it on the ramp, we'll have a look at it for you uh, and check it out from underneath. And uh, hopefully, hopefully there's no damage because if there is, it's gonna cost an absolute fortune. But also, even if there is no damage, when these batteries run out as, and deteriorate as batteries do, like they do on iPhones and Android phones, whatever, we all know batteries are rubbish. You end up with your remote control in your TV and your banging it to get the remote control. I don't know why that works, by the way. It doesn't work, so you just hit the remote control. Does anybody do that? Uh, and then it works again. And uh, we all know batteries are rubbish. And then they deteriorate. You look at your iPhone after two or three years, if you go into it, the battery health 
has deteriorated and you need a new battery in it, which is fine for an iPhone, costs you what, 50 to 100 pounds, whatever. Uh, but with a car, it's gonna cost you a whole lot more than that. So where are we going with this? And also Porsche at the moment, somebody sent me a link to it and I don't know whether there's any truth in this, pop it in the comment section down below. But somebody sent me a link to the CEO of Porsche saying that electric is not the way forward now and they've come out with some kind of synthetic fuel or some kind of fuel that's good for, well, not bad for the environment, let's put it that way. And they sent me the link to that. I don't know what there is truth in that, but apparently that's what the CEO of Porsche said. So uh, let me know in the comment section down below. As I say, check any of these facts because everything and just to cover myself is in my opinion i personally don't think electric cars are the future i personally think as i've said many many times that this is all about control and it's going to be like 3d tvs or betamax um that's where we're going to be with electric cars and we're going to be left with something that costs a lot more than a Betamax video player, or if you know what I mean, we're going to be left with an or a 3D TV. We're going to be left with something, a device or a, a vehicle that's going to cost us thousands. We're going to be left with something that's worth nothing. You're not going to be able to get rid of it. In fact, what did my mum used to call it? I can't remember what she used to call it. There's a word for something where it's no use nor ornament. Anyway, let's get there. Fingers crossed for me that it's going to be all right. Otherwise, the next stage will be me getting onto the insurance company and seeing if it's covered by the insurance. Maybe after this, I should have a dash cam fitted because uh, anything like that where the wood comes off of the back of a lorry or anything comes off the back of a lorry, then I can claim against it. Anyway, come on, onwards, my friends. I have to say what I find really amusing is how passionate, or as I'd like to say, aggressive and nasty that evangelists get about their electric cars. You cannot say a bad word about them, but they can't answer the questions that I'm asking them. So like for instance, answer me this now if you're an evangelist. Why aren't the government driving around in electric cars, yet they're telling us to drive electric cars ourselves, yet you've got the Mayor of London, who's increasing his ultra low emission zone, yet still driving around in his gas guz guzzling Range Rover, which is laden down with bulletproof glass. And he also takes his dog for a walk five miles down the road and has a cascade of gas guzzling cars with him as well. And then also lorries, lorries aren't electric, They'll never be electric lorries, they're too heavy, and if there are, don't expect your Amazon package to arrive tomorrow, because it certainly won't. And then, on top of that, got a bit dark there, got under a bridge, are we back? We're back, there we go, we're back. Um, and also, aeroplanes, you're not going to have uh, electric aeroplanes, and if you are, I can tell you, I will not be flying on them, especially with the experiences that I've had in this electric car. So we've still got aeroplanes in the skies, pothering out uh, lots of fumes uh, and uh, damaging the environment. So a few electric cars are not going to make any difference, are they? So answer me that question. What's going to happen to aeroplanes and why aren't our government driving electric cars? Come on, answer me the question.
Right, here we are at Porsche Service Centre. Now then, please, please, please do not let there be anything wrong with my battery. Uh, please. Um, well, I go in there, I'm going to have my keys over, have a coffee, let them inspect underneath the car. Uh, while they do that, as I say, I'm going to grab a coffee um, and then you can have a look around a few of the real cars and not the milk floats. Actually, there'll be, a, there'll be actually quite a few Porsche Taycans around as well, because correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm sure you will do in the comment section down below, that the Porsche Taycan now is the best selling Porsche that they have, and that's over the 911 and the Boxster. So I believe let me know in the comments section down below. I will tell you though that they do some excellent coffee in here and it's all free uh, and also biscuits. It's probably not free is it? It's probably in the price of the paid for it in the price of the car. All right let's get this milk float turned off and uh, fingers crossed that it's going to be all right otherwise then I'm gonna have to get in touch with the insurance company and find out how much uh, well whether they'll cover it or not and whether it's actually worth it because if the battery is more than the cost of the car then I'm presuming it's It'll just be a write-off but fingers crossed we'll be all right anyway so as i say the last few days not had a problem with it it's been fine it's charged fine and everything's been okay so hopefully it is anyway take a look around while i have a coffee and i'll see you guys in a minute Forty thousand pounds for a new battery for a Porsche Taycan. Forty thousand pounds. Forty thousand pounds. Right, my friends. Well, here is the technician's report. Take a look at it. Good afternoon. My name's nothing new for today. This car will be hard to get away from. That video, the driver of the inspector is part of that. Well, to start now, we've got a passenger side front tyre. Minimum transmission on this tyre at 5.7 millilitres. Legal limits 1.6. That tyre all okay, then green on the health check. Brake and suspension components in the front of the vehicle all okay as well. Again, all green on the health check. No faults or defects identified. Across to the driver's side, this car all okay as well. Minimum tread measurement, driver's side from the tyre, 4.7 millimetres. Moving down onto the vehicle, checking all the inner protection, as well as the battery casing as we move to the rear. Hopefully you can see on the video, it's all intact and in good condition on the inner side. At the rear, underbody trim is all intact and okay. Breaking the suspension components at the rear, same as the front, all in good condition. Again, no issues. Let's point out. Minimum tread measurement, 4.1 millimetres on the driver's side of your tyre. That tyre reflected in amber on the health check. Also the passenger side, braking suspension component, components are okay in this corner as well. Minimum tread measurement, 2.5 millimetres on the passenger side of your tyre. In legal it was 1.6, that tyre reflected in red from the health check. The driver's side rear in amber. So it was good news my friends. The battery compartment is intact and there is nothing wrong with the car. It's absolutely fine. Uh, it may have been a glitch on the software. Um, so 
touch wood uh, that won't happen again it only happened a couple of times as I say and it was on a really hot day after a long journey from the Lake District back to Mansfield uh, it was a really hot day tried to charge it and it did say that it was waiting for the battery uh, to cool down the battery compartment to cool down um, diagnostics show nothing wrong with it done a full check underneath I have to say by the way Porsche leads if you do have a Porsche uh, they've got one of the if not the best technician uh, the top technician for Porsche here uh, at Porsche Leeds and I know that because I've had the computer replaced in this car and the service guy who did it for me really knows his stuff so if you do have a Porsche and you have anything wrong with it a Taycan um, the, the top Taycan technician is here in Leeds so uh, Porsche Leeds absolutely fantastic can't recommend them highly enough the guy who's in there really knows his stuff honestly he does in fact he commented on one of my videos I believe when I brought it in for uh, a service or something I think I think it was a service I did but he, he commented on it the guy is a genius uh, where the Porsche Taycan is concerned so I wouldn't have anybody else service my car only Porsche Leeds so there we go thank you to Porsche Leeds so there you go um, luckily this time uh, there's nothing wrong with the car it's absolutely fine it may have just been a glitch i'm going to get myself a dash cam though because then if anything happens again i can capture it because my camera that's in my car is just a gopro that i use for the videos um i did say though to them how much is it for a new battery and uh, as i've as i've just said there forty thousand pounds is how much it is for a new battery for the porsche Taycan. so if you do damage your battery compartment then it's going to cost you 40 grand for a new uh, for a new battery or, or to replace the battery as well if you want it replacing so I got that bit of information out of them thanks again to Porsche Leeds as I say if you do have a Taycan this is the place to bring your Porsche to uh, Porsche Leeds because you've got one hell of a genius in there he really knows his stuff that's all from me today uh, my friends and uh, also by the way I'm going to say hi to the uh, the buyer for this place because really nice gentleman I was speaking to and he's the buyer for the group and uh, he said funnily enough uh, uh, one of the first things that they check before they uh, purchase the car is that the battery compartment is all right so I'm going to say hi to that guy such a lovely guy Porsche Leeds brilliant can't recommend them enough that's all from me today I'll catch you guys in the next one make sure you hit that subscribe button uh, and I'll see you see you in the next one I'm going to go and celebrate now with some fish and chips bye bye